The German city of Mannheim in the state of Baden-Württemberg saw bombing during World War II from December 1940 until the end of the war. Mannheim saw over 150 air raids. Topic 1939. Mannheim was the subject of Allied air activity from the earliest days of the war. Although these early flights had reconnaissance as their aim rather than air raids. As the Times of 13 November 1939 notes, quoting a British official communique, Royal Air Force aircraft successfully carried out reconnaissance flights over southwest Germany on Friday night. Among the cities over which our aircraft flew were Stuttgart, Mannheim, and Nuremberg. One aircraft has not returned. Topic 1940 During the Battle of France, the Royal Air Force raided Mannheim as part of a night of raid attacking Nazi Germany's oil infrastructure. In the British government had developed plans for the large scale area bombing of cities from the summer of 1940, but waited for an opportunity to present itself. That came after the German raid on Coventry. The new bombing policy, officially as a reprisal for Coventry and Southampton, was ordered by Winston Churchill on 1 December and explained in the War Cabinet on 12 December. Operation Abigail was approved on 13, on condition that it receive no publicity and be considered an experiment. The Air crews, rightly, regarded it as a terror raid. Incendiaries dropped by eight bombers to mark the target missed the city center, and most of the 100 or so aircraft of 134 dispatched that did drop bombs missed the city center. German casualties were 34 dead and 81 injured. The lessons learned from the large dispersal of bombs over Mannheim led to the development of the «bomber stream», which entailed the maximum number of bombs over the shortest time and area. Despite the lack of decisive success, approval was granted for further similar raids. In response to Luftwaffe raids on Britain, the RAF launched Operation Abigail Rachel against Mannheim. The first deliberate terror raid of World War II took place on the night of 16 17 December 1940. The raid was intended to be the first where the RAF attackers would exceed 200 aircraft. In the event only 134 assorted craft were available for the operation. This was due to bad weather at British airfields. Although of poor effect, the raiders dropped 100 tons of explosives and 14,000 incendiaries on Mannheim. The raid resulted in the loss of seven of the attacking aircraft. This made a loss rate to the RAF of 5.2%. The Times reported attacks on Mannheim railway station, goods yards, and industrial buildings. Bombers arrived just prior to 20.00 and carried through the attack in waves until the early hours of the following morning. The attack also encompassed the Neckerstadt areas of the city and the twin city of Ludwigshafen. A pilot reported the anti-aircraft fire rising, "...like a continuous golden fountain". 
However, other pilots said they were able to press home their attacks untroubled. In contrast, a German high command communique described the impact on production as insignificant. This was the start of a British drift away from precision attacks on military targets and towards area bombing attacks on whole cities. Bomber Command aircraft attacked the city for the next two nights, an Air Ministry communique. K reported last Wednesday night the RAF once again attacked Mannheim smoke from fires of previous raids was still hanging over the town four large new fires were started the RAF struck the city again in on Sunday the 22nd of December with fires reported and a number of explosions Topic nineteen forty one Attacks continued into nineteen forty one with a small force of aircraft attacking the city on the eighth of February in spite of poor weather. May saw heavy attacks, with the fifth of May raid with fires seen through gaps in the cloud. Cloud cover reportedly made observation difficult, but the glare through the clouds told of fires in all parts of the town. A pilot described the 5th of May raid. There was an astonishing explosion. It looked like an immense red ball, and it must have been a terrific fire. Stuff was being thrown up in the air as if from a huge spray. Then there was a great mushroom of smoke. When I turned away finally, the rear gunner said he could still see a dull red glow remaining for some time. The May raids continued on May 9 with a concentrated attack that was described as a highly successful operation. An RAF pilot reported counting 27 major fires. The Air Ministry communique regarding the raid called it concentrated and destructive. July saw further raids with an improvement in weather affording the attackers improved navigation. Industrial and rail targets were reported to have received a good deal of damage. A raid of the 23rd of July reported no losses with all RAF aircraft returning safely. The coming of August brought conspicuous success to the attackers. Despite poor weather on the journey, the skies cleared over the target area. An Air Ministry communique stated that a great weight of the heaviest bombs was dropped, inflicting severe and widespread damage. A gale force wind fanned the flames and increased the damage caused. Another August raid was described by the Times aeronautical correspondent. A powerful bomber force was concentrated on Mannheim on Wednesday in the 47th raid on this industrial and communications center. The weather was clear, enabling all our machines to locate their primary targets, with the result that the attack developed into one of the heaviest made for some time on a single town. Mannheim had suffered a heavy raid on Monday night, and before the havoc caused then could be cleared up large numbers of heavy bombs were adding to it. There were many vivid explosions and roaring fires. A high wind fanned the flames and caused some of the outbreaks to assume great dimensions. Topic 1942. The first raid since the 7th of November 1941 was directed against Mannheim on the 11th of February 1942. The February raid was the heaviest directed against a German target since January 10, when a heavy weight of bombs was dropped on Wilhelmshaven. RAF Bomber Command returned to the city in May. 
a mixture of aircraft, Stirling, Lancaster, Halifax, Manchester, Wellington and Hampton bombers, were sent against targets in Mannheim. The raid, which came at the same time as an attack on St. Nazaire, was described as nuisance raids by the Germans. Topic: <laughs> After 1942. On the 9th of August 1943, nine RAF aircraft were lost in an attack against the city. A key target for the raid was the BASF. The plant ran for three miles along the banks of the Rhine. Heavy cloud lead to defenders shining searchlights into the clouds in an effort to silhouette the bombers. Bomber crews reported seeing fires almost 100 miles away. The largest raid on Mannheim was on 5 and 6 September 1943. A large part of the city was destroyed. In 1944, raids destroyed Mannheim Palace, leaving only one room undamaged out of over 500. On 2 March 1945 the RAF launched a 300-bomber attack, causing a devastating firestorm. 25,181 tons of bombs fell throughout the war. <laughs> 